thank you. Uh, I don't know if he's here or not, but Terry, our punch driver, he's been doing it for a long time, taking us to the tournaments and duels and stuff. I want to thank him. He does a great job, even though he makes the boys walk sometimes at tournaments and <laughs> they complain about when we ride the bus. Um, and the other thing I want to, you know, I'll come back to this too, but the parents, thank you because you have raised really good kids. I mean, we are very, very fortunate in Van Meter and in Earl to have kids that we have. I mean, you go other places, the kids aren't like this. Um, so that's kudos to you, you're doing a great job. And it's also kids who should be happy that your parents care and come to things. Because in some places, parents don't come and watch their kids perform, where you guys have a big family at school. So thank you all. The other thing I want to thank out is all the coaches that help, volunteer coaches, um, Coach Jazz, Coach Q, Coach Rutz, Coach Aggie, Coach Wall. You guys put in abundance amount of time. Um, it takes a lot of people for things to go well. Um, and we have a good core of people, coaches that care about your kids that care about wrestling, that care about the program, that want to see it grow, and it has. And uh, we would not be here right now the way we are if it wasn't for those guys. So thank you. <laughs> I want to also bring up our managers real quick. Riley and Erica, come up here. It'll be all right. You won't look like a chicken forever. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> she um, I just want to thank you, girls. We also had another one happen, which is not here today. But I just want to thank you guys for all you've done, all you do. Um, whether it's cleaning the mats after practice, filming, keep a book, um, doing whatever else we need you to do during the tournaments, uh, practices, and so forth. Um, I know the kids enjoy it too, especially when practices and they want to water the ball bottles filled and stuff like that. Um, but thank you guys. Thank you. Next thing I want to step to is uh, some of the accomplishments team wise. Um, this year, it seems like each year that we've gone through this process, each year we chip away and climb a little higher. Um, we were the 2019 conference champions this year. That's the second time in three years. We were also uh, sectional champs, which is the second year that's happened in a row. Um, we were district one champions, which is the first time ever that's ever happened. Um, we were regional dual qualifiers for the second year in a row. Our goal record was 16 and one. And uh, we sent 10 kids to the district. Um, to districts, most ever. Um, we had seven state qualifiers, which is the most ever, and we also had one state place in this year. So overall, as a team, um, we, we did really, really well, especially when this is the sport where we think a lot of the individual aspect of it. Um, I'm always a bit of a big believer of the team aspect, and, you know, I think, and it's just shown. I mean, we had an amazing year. Tristan Drake, Brock Button, Dalton Van Bell, Sam Grove, Vincent Jacobs, and Kyler Young. That's a place. Okay, boys. 
stand up there with the crowd nice and pretty. This was a real fun group, okay? Fun group of boys. They worked extremely hard in getting, and getting better in practice. Um, I believe, I know Coach Aggie would always send me text messages about how they were doing in their uh, tournaments and stuff when they would go to JV, and they did really well. I mean, Benny, how many tournaments did you win? Three. Three? <laughs> yeah, how many? What was your goal this year? I told him one. And one thing about it is, is like Coach Aggie said, to get it on the head was, Guys like this and us finally getting a decent, decent get, we'll get better, but to get a JV tournament lined up and a schedule for these kids to compete at really helps them grow as an individual, but is also going to help grow the program as well. And I believe they had a blast um, during the season. I think they really enjoyed one of those JV tournaments and being the hammer, not the nail. And uh, I'm very proud of them. They did a great job.
record before, I believe, was 34 or 32, so he shattered that. He has the record for most reversals in a season with 36. He holds the record for career reversals with 102. And he also has the record for career near falls with 146. Next is Bryce Cole. He's a three-time varsity runner winner, placed third at conference, was sectional champ and state qualifier. Caleb Swallow was a three-time varsity letter, conference champ, sectional champ, two-time state qualifier. He placed seventh at state he, this year. He's also third on the all-time list with 123 wins. Um, the leader has 147 wins, and that was Kendall Davis. Um, he also has the record for career escapes with 103. Then we have Sam Miller, two-time varsity letter winner, uh, plays second in conference, was a district qualifier and a state qualifier. And then Tyler Herbman was a varsity letter winner, three-time, plays fourth in conference. And then Darren Sesker is there in his third varsity letter, conference champ, sectional champ, district champ, and two-time state qualifier. So go ahead and give a big round of applause. sit down and we just talk about the seniors here. Um, I just want to say something about the whole team. Um, they really bought into that, to the team aspect of everything. Um, I, I don't think there's once this year I can actually say that we went out there and we didn't get a full effort. Maybe the outcome didn't go the way we quite wanted it to, but we can't fault effort. Um, they fought for their brothers beside them and who they had to go out to compete hard not just for them, but for their brother and their team. And uh, I thought they bought into that system very well. Um, and then the individual stuff's just started taking off. If you would have told me at the beginning of the year we would have had 10 district qualifiers and seven state qualifiers, it would have been, wow, I mean, that's awesome. That's just because they bought into the system, they were coachable, and we have great leaders, coaches around, and it just happened, and it was, it was awesome. So, no real applause. <laughs> the senior group here, I would say they're not very vocal as leaders. I wouldn't say that's them. They're, how they are leaders is by their actions and how they, you know, they're hard workers in the branch. They work the tail Um you can count on them, accountability. They show up every day, um, they showed up every day, competed hard, um, and they grew from when they were, some of them we had when they were freshmen, and then even from when Sam came in last year, they made their steps. And it's growing as an individual, as a, as a human being. And they're great people, and they're going to be very, very successful after all this is over, you know, the wrestling's done, and which it is now, and they go off, and Jose is going to go to college and wrestle. But once it all comes down, they become in the real world after whatever they decide to do, they are going to be successful because of everything. Um, they always come with a smile on their face. Really, all the time. I mean, their practices and stuff. They're always. They might not like being there, but they're, they don't show it. Um, Wrestling's a grind and it's hard. But one thing it does is it, it kind of shows you and who you are at your weakest moments. And these guys did a great job of overcoming things. Keeping, don't let the highs get too high, don't let the lows get too low. And they did a great job. And um, I'm thank, thankful to have them. Great job this year. Yeah. Um, there's one other thing I will talk about just to bring up. Personal reason has nothing to do with anybody or anything. It's just, you know, the chapter of my life is going to end. Doesn't mean I'm going to vanish or not be around, but whoever wants to, you know, I quite want it. You know, I told you what I was there. You know, I should take it. You know, I just think that's how it would be, but we don't know. Um, time to tell, because you got to go through the process. But I thank you, I 
had a call for everything. They let me in as a candidate, and we added up, so we batted it down. Um, I think that the program's in great shape. You have great people around you, great supporters, um, all that good stuff. Um, I love you, kids. You kids are awesome. You are your classmate. Keep working hard, um, getting better. I'm still going to be in the school, still going to be around, still going to go to tournaments.
start being like Coach says, be the hammer and knock the nail right from day one and go out and start placing the state tournament. And, and that's that's our next thing as a program. Um, Southern State qualifiers was a lot of fun, and I think a lot of us, as we're thinking back about it, we got done with that first night, we were probably a little bit inflated. And it, it was fun, we, we had a lot of, uh, um, we were anticipating a really huge night, and it was still a good night, but I think that we started taking a few hits there, and I think we realized there's another level to go out and achieve, and, and to catch, and to get to, and it's going to take some work in this spring and summer. Um, and so, if you've received an email from me, that's good, because that means you're on my list, and I can keep up with communications to make sure that we're getting dates out and, and getting things organized. If you haven't, please make sure I get your email address before we do tonight, because that's how I'm going to uh, get all these communications out. The kids have had enough, and you probably are hungry, so good job. <laughs> So I'm in the process of getting this too so we can get more things in there. So that's what this is for.